Expo on top of the tower. Ice Spirit on Ice Spirit action. Let's go, boys. That's damage. It's been a fat minute, but we're back at it again with an Expo Control deck. This Expo Control deck is based off of the theme of log bait. So you're gonna have Goblin Gang and you're gonna have Rascals. I prefer having this log bait proponent because I just don't think that skeletons afford too much value. Of course, you're also gonna have Tesla and Mega Minion for better air defense. Since you're gonna have a slower cycle, you need to have more air defense. Because Ice Golem did get nerfed, you're gonna use your boy Rascal as your main source of tanking for the Expo. Obviously, if they do log your Rascals, then you can drop the Goblin Gang right behind and apply a lot of aggression with the Goblin Gang behind the Thick Boy. If you guys are looking for a new Expo deck for 12 wins, look no further. All right, so we're going to go cycle Mega Minion in the back. He's going to go in for a Tombstone. Is he going to be rocking Lava Loon? Is he going to be rocking Graveyard? There are so many questions. Not enough answers so far. We're going to have to wait and see. Mega Minion really doesn't tell me anything. It could very well be Graveyard. So after seeing Log, most of the time Lava Loon players are going to be packing Zap. So it most likely will be Graveyard. Could be Hog Rider. Could be Ice Wizard, like Hog Rider with uh, NATO. We're going to have to wait and see. No, it's going to be Graveyard. Straight up Graveyard. So I'm gonna go log that. I'm not gonna fireball just yet. I presume he's gonna, did he log? Did he log my goblin gang or something? I forget. I don't remember. Probably should remember. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go in for an ice spirit plus mega minion. Then I'm gonna go in for goblin gang to defend. I'm also gonna go in for rascals off to the side. Oh man, I thought that we were uh, in a pretty hairy situation, but we uh, prevailed, so I'm happy about it. Hopefully he poisons. Now we get a free expo because now he has no way of dealing with that besides like directly dealing with it with units. So hopefully that's the case. We still have Thick Boy on the map, so I want to utilize him as a tank. He, you know, he so politely drew our Thick Boy off his lane, so might as well use him as a tank, dude. Well worth. So whatever he wants to drop, we're going to drop Tesla. Probably Mega Minion, right? Oh, never mind. Okay, we're going to go log that. We're going to get some extra chip damage. And we're just going to let Thick Boy do its thing. Do I have to go in for an Ice Spear? I presume I do. Does Thick Boy still get tower damage on my tower? Most likely. So guys, in this situation, I want to apply a lot of aggression so he's not able to go in for graveyards. If he goes in for graveyards, I'm screwed. If I play passively and give him the opportunity to go in for graveyards, I'm an idiot. Because guess what? I don't have a great way of dealing with him. I don't have poison. I have to keep playing aggressive. The best defense in this scenario is the best offense. So we're going in hot and heavy. So I'm going to go in for Rascals. I'm also going to go in for a Log. And I think we will end up defending the tower and just taking his tower in one fell swoop. I don't really know what he planned on doing there, but he has no way of defending against the expo. So as I said, guys, apply aggression and then just try to defend as uh, as efficiently as possible. So that situation, obviously, it was a very clutch and efficient defense. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm also going to go in for a fireball on top of all of that junk. Get out of here. Sure, you still have the thick boy, but the thick boy is not going to do a ton of damage. If we just go in for a log, bounce everything back, obliterate the skeletons instantaneously, and capture a W, going in for a high expo so then it doesn't get hit by the poison. We're evading the poison for days out here. We're also going to go in for a mega minion so the mega minion of his dies. And guys, this is hilarious because he was supposed to take our second tower, or he was supposed to take a tower, but we're about to take his second one, man. We're relentless out here. We're truly relentless. He's going in for a log, but... Just spells his doom, man. There's nothing he can do. GG, well played, and good luck in the rest of your grand challenge session. Expo is OP. Good luck, Tony. I'm gonna go Goblin Gang right at the river, see what Tony responds with. Whew, he's going in for an Ice Spirit plus Log. Guys, I don't know if Tony knows, but we got the Rascals. The Rascals plus Ice Spirit combination. It's ensuing on his tower, baiting out a Fireball. And he still has to respond to Thick Boy, because Thick Boy got propelled forward by the Fireball. Thick Boy got a little bit more motivated. He's like, Jake, I need that damage. I need... Oh, no. I need to fireball that. Otherwise, it doesn't get on top of the expo, and then we would just lose, right? So I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that. So I know that fireball looked like a bad play, but I had to get that Tesla locked on top of the expo. If that didn't happen, we lost the game. So sometimes you got to do inefficient plays to make sure that you preserve your tower. And that play, it was a necessity. We could not get out of that. We were locked in, boys. Okay, so we are very well aware that he's also running Expo. So I'd rather play more aggressive against him. So when you know that you're playing against an Expo player and you're also running Expo, play aggressive. Don't play like an idiot, but play aggressive. Okay, I need to go in for a log here. He's going to go in for he's gonna go in for Tesla, and I can't shut it down. And then he goes in for his own Expo. Really? Why would you do that? See, if he was really good, he goes in for his own Tesla, 
and then he just like sets up an expo immediately after because now I can actually kill uh, I can probably kill his yeah I can kill that and then also kill the expo with the mega minions so he made a really bad play if he went in for a Tesla and then set up his expo I lost the game immediately so I'm very thankful that he messed up there okay so we gotta bounce back guys we gotta bounce back with a vengeance Kind of want to go up his lane here in case he goes in for a Tesla. I don't want to give him the same ability like he did last time. All right, we're going to go in for Goblin Gang, split it. I'm going to log that because obviously there's nothing else to log in this deck, as I said before. I'm going to go in for Tesla here. Does he not want to go for Tesla? I guess he just doesn't want to go for Tesla. He's going to Fireball, which is like the get out of <laughs> the get out of jail free card, the, the Fireball, but I don't know, man. Now you don't have Fireball in Cycle. You're going to log that, but now I have Goblin Gang. I guess you can fireball this, but you're not back in cycle, so... Yeah, you can't. Okay. His Rascals are out of cycle, so now he only has Mega Minion. He has no way of defending this. Absolutely no way. Goodbye, sir. Expo on top of the tower. Ice Spirit on Ice Spirit action. Let's go, boys. That's damage. That's dirty. I'm going to go in for Rascals, and I'm going to subsequently follow up with another Expo. And when he goes in for his own Expo, then we go in. So, here we go. I'm going to Fireball his Expo and the Tower. Well worth. Can the Mega Minion kill his? I think it will. Well worth as well. He's going to go for Rascals. We just log them back because he has nothing else to log in his deck, right? Very interesting deck, honestly. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'd much rather run Goblin Gang instead of Skeletons, man. Sure, it affords you a little bit better cycle, but it's uh, not really tenable to say that you can have a better deck composition overall without Goblin Gang. So I just keep going in for Fireballs because I think that's probably the best play. I did miss the Ice Gold, didn't I? No, I killed it. Okay, we're fine. We're vibing with this. We actually might get some tower damage if I go in for a log. Yeah, we're just spell cycling him out like a true sir, aren't we? Because now he goes in for a log to finish it off, but he can't ever afford to apply any aggression there because he just loses. I'm going to go in for Goblin Gang. I'm also going to go in for Ice Spirit. All right, he's trying to apply some aggression. I'm going to Fireball it. That's too much to pass up on. I'm sorry, sir. That's uh, something that I can't pass up on. That's too much of a snack and a half. I'm also going to go in for Gang. And now I just have to Fireball and Log him. So I'm going to go in for the Log, and then I'm going to Fireball and collect the W. I hope that I showed that this deck in every single avenue is superior to the one that he's running. His just doesn't hold up, man. It doesn't hold up. So good game, well played, and good luck, bro. All right, guys, we're playing against you, Papa. We're saucing out the Ice Spirit at the river, and he's going to go drop a Mega Minion. So we're going to go Goblin Gang opposite lane, and we're going to see what he's up to. He's going to go drop the Skarmy Sauce, and we're going to have to follow up with a Mega Minion. I definitely do have to log that, otherwise he would get too much damage, and I'm not comfortable with that. If he does go and drop a Goblin Barrel, I do have Fireball, and then I also have Rascal, so I'm fine with that. Okay, so he's got Lava Loon. When they're playing Lava Loon and you're running Expo, always go same lane as them. I know that some people like going in for an offensive expo op as a lane, but it's a really bad play because then they just overrun you or they def they basically sack half their tower and then they're like, yeah, I'm fine sacking half my tower. And then what ends up happening is they end up taking your full tower by just committing all of their elixir. And if you're in a 1-1 one -one scenario where you do a tower trade against, an exp or against a Lava Loon player and you're running expo, they can just drop crap on top of your expo. So ideally, the Lava Loon player would love to tower trade with you. So don't let that happen ever. So you're going to see time and time again, I'm going to play Expo, and I'm going to go same lane as the Lava Loon player. So I'm starting my Mega Minion. I'm going to go same lane with my Expo. He's probably going to go for a Lava Hound in the back or something. He didn't end up doing it. I guess he's down a lot of Elixir. He's going to go in for a Skarmie. We're going to log that to allow our Expo to... Well, our Expo did lock on the tower. Mister. I don't even know how that happened. I really don't know how my Expo locked on top of that tower. It's just a miracle, man. I'm really happy about that. Shouldn't have... Uh, went about that way it really shouldn't have happened but getting a lot of damage for no reason i'm about it for sure i still don't understand how my expo locked on that tower i kind of want to go for an ice spirit at the river but i'd rather just wait until 10 elixir rather play a little bit more safe want to see if we can catch anything else and we're actually going to hit the mega minion with ice spirit as well and the tower so that's really dope oh never mind i lied to you guys will you guys ever forgive me for my lies i lie a lot don't i so I'm going to go for Tesla right in the back, and he might Fireball, but he's not able to Fireball the Mega Minion as well. So he's just going to Fireball the Mega Minion and not the Tesla. I guess that's a decent play, but we're going to go in for Goblin Gang. It's going to soak up a lot. I could go in for a Fireball, but it's really not worth it. 
I'm gonna go in for Mega Minion. He went in for a Fireball earlier, so now I'm gonna go for a Log on top of the Goblin Gang. And then since we have a Mega Minion still on the field, still present, still asserting dominance, we're gonna go in for a Expo just because we can defend it. We can safely defend it. He went in for a Zap, but we're just gonna reset with an Ice Spirit, then go in for a Mega Minion. It goes on Steven, the Stab Goblin, and then we're just gonna go in for Tesla. And we barely end up defending the Expo in the nick of time for us to capture the W. So he's got to break through somehow, some way. And I just don't see it happening because you could fireball the Rascals. But Thick Boy, he eats up that fireball like a snack, man. He's uh, he's used to eating so many like over-roasted marshmallows. He's used to like <laughs> eating burnt food. He doesn't care, dude. He's just like, you fireball me as much as you want. I'm immune to it. So good game, well played, and good luck, bro. I'm going to go with Fright Spirit. We're going to go Goblin Gang opposite lane and see if we can apply some pressure with that. Bait out a log or something. We're going to go for Rascal's opposite side and he sauces out the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie, no! The ultimate counter to the Goblin Gang. So he's going to have a Valkyrie minor poison push. All right. So if he has log, then he has multifarious answers to us. But we still have the Expo sauce. He has his minor out of cycle. Valkyrie is a pretty phenomenal tank for the Expo shots. But if you guys did not know already, you always want to go Expo opposite lane of the Minor Poison player. Because if I go same lane, then it gets Poison value on the tower and the Expo. So I don't want that to happen. I didn't expect him to actually have Inferno Tower. I really didn't. So I'm going to go in for Goblin Gang. I'm going to split it. So just to give my Expo a little bit more damage on top of the tower. It wasn't too much, but for that Elixir trade, I'm worth it. It's definitely worth it. So he's probably going to go in for Minor Poison. I don't have a great way of refuting that or dealing with it. I guess I'm going to go in for a Tesla because guess what? This Rascals, it just dies to poison, right? Not really the best play. So Tesla on defense, it also prevents him from cycling like a Valkyrie right into this. If he really wants to, it's kind of a bad play. So I would be very happy if he decided to do that. So he most likely is going to go cycle another Inferno Tower because that's really the only thing he has. Unless he wants to go and cycle a Valkyrie right into a Mega Minion. There's the Inferno Tower like I thought. And now the Mega Minion should shred it coupled with the Expo. So... Just thinking ahead, guys, always knowing what your opponent's counters are in cycle allows you to prepare and formulate the best possible defense, and that's what we did there. I'm also going to be cycling a Tesla just to make sure that we can preserve the uh, the Expo for as long as possible. And I think that if the Expo gets on top of the tower, regardless of the HP, it's always very formidable. does a lot of damage. I'm going to go in for a Mega Minion a little bit shallow because if he goes in for a Miner, then we deny any potential of him going in for Miner chip damage. So... I also want to battle with the river, so then he's not able to get, like, poison chip damage, right? If I go in for Rascals and then fireball this... Well, I didn't end up hitting the Electro Wizard. <laughs> that would have been nice if I hit the Electro Wizard. We're going to pretend like I did, but you guys already know that I'm a potato, and I cheap padded that like it was my job. Regardless, we're going to go in for a log and then fireball him out. So that's going to be all she wrote, guys. We do end up capturing this W because guess what? Fireball does 201. We're going to wait for a little bit, though. We're not going to get overzealous we still have 25 seconds to defend the virginity. We're going to be dropping a Tesla on defense. We're going to be dropping the Goblin Gang further back because in case he goes in for a pre-log, then he has no actual way of hitting the Goblin Gang. He's going to have to rely solely on the fact that he has a poison. So he's going to go in for the pre-log. The pre-log doesn't hit anything. I'm going to go in for Rascals off to the side. Rather play safe than sorry. Just ensure that the Electro Wizard does not hit any pot shots off on our tower. We're going to go in for a Fireball to finish off the game. We did not miss that Fireball, so we collect the W. GG, man. All right, so Unravel. Tokyo Ghoul Unravel. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just said that. All right, so he's going to go for a Poison. He's actually going to kill everything with that, unfortunately. So I have to go in for Ice Spirit. And I'm going to have to get ready. My body's going to have to get prepared. Because he's probably going to be able to log this since he used this Poison. No, he's not going to log. All right, does he have Zap with this? It's going to be Bridge Fan with Zap? Probably. I'm going to log that back for some extra chip damage. Don't really want to go in with the... Uh, I'm going to go in. I didn't want to go in, but now I have the ability to. I think I can get away with just an, uh, a Tesla and be fine here. I think we break through and win the game. I'm not sure. If we kill that giant and the expo locks on, I think we win the game. Maybe that's a little bit too optimistic. Yeah, I was too optimistic. <laughs> Anyone can succeed with Mortal Rascals. I agree, man. It's such a skillless deck. All right. So do we want to go opposite him with Goblin Gang? We want to see if he... No, he definitely has Zap. He doesn't have Log. Otherwise, he would have logged the Rascals or the Goblin Gang earlier. So I want to go in for Goblin Gang. Just see what we can bait out here. If we can't bait out anything, I'm fine with it. 
Ooh, we baited out an Electro Wizard. Okay. I'm going to go for Mega Minion, and then I'm going to subsequently follow up with the next bow. See if he drops a Giant right into that. Okay. Giant a little bit further back. Okay. Should be able to finish off the Santa Claus and then also work on the Mega Minion. He's going to poison that, so that's a really preemptive poison. That's a little bit promiscuous, man. I have to drop Ice Spirit. I can't eat that damage. I'm not about that. I don't want to eat two Mega Minion shots for free. So he's going to go for Royal Ghost. Obviously, if he drops the Splash damage, why not apply some aggression off his lane and see if we can bait out? And he obviously has Zap because he hasn't used his Log in any situation. I don't really want to use my Tesla here, but I'm going to because he just dropped all of his units at the river. <laughs> I'm going to go for Ice Spirit. Then I'm going to go follow up with Goblin Gang Surround. So then the... Uh, Royal Ghost doesn't get too much value. Okay. Unfortunately, I keep having to do this. Alright. So I want to cycle Mega Minion in the back. I really want to have like some type of presence on the map before I go in. He's going to go for... It'd be really stupid for him to go in for a Giant here. He might though. No, he's not going to. Alright, he went off his lane, kind of what I thought. Now I have to go in for Rascals, otherwise the Prince does me dirty, and we don't like that. Do I have to go in for Mega Minion here, or can I eat that? I kind of want to eat that. And then immediately follow up with an Expo. Keeping the Thick Boy alive is pretty solid. Alright, do I have to sacrifice an Ice Spirit? I think I have to sacrifice an Ice Spirit. He's going to Zap here. I'm going to log it back, and then I'm going to go drop Rascals. As long as the Prince doesn't get a charge, we're fine. Yo, the Tesla got so much value. Jeez, man. Are we not going to be able to break through? Yeah, you're just going to zap so I don't get any damage. This is super difficult to break through, man. Alright, we're going for a Tesla there. We're going to go for Expo here. He's going to go drop an Expo, or he's going to drop a Giant right into us. We're going to let it die. And we're going to go in for Goblin Gang off to the side so it doesn't get hit by the poison. He ends up poisoning everything. Okay, so we're not making anything happen there, are we? I guess we can go Rascals off of Slain. Because you, you don't have Log. You definitely don't have Log. And you don't have Poison in Cycle. So if I go in for Expo, maybe. Guys, this is our moment to shine. This is our true testament here. Please. Log everything back so then... Oh, man. I really want this. I want it bad, and I want it now, man. He also went in for a log. We went in for a zap. I don't know. Ice Spirit, please? It's not happening. He's just going to poison. This dude is a lame, man. You have to be super lame to play this. Ugh. He's a good player, and it's just going to be a draw. Okay. Went for a poison. You can go for Rascals here. Maybe he can go super aggressive. Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. We're going for Goblin getting off to the side. We don't have to log anything. Here he is. Yeah, this is it. Because he just used a uh, used a poison. Frivolous poison. If I log that, maybe? Okay, so that's not going to take tower. It's most certainly not going to take tower. Maybe the Rascal side will. Okay, maybe. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go in. We're gonna try to make it happen, boys. Come on, give it to daddy. Oh, no. I can't poison. I can't do it. Is he gonna go for giant? Can I, like, log it out of range? I need to kill it as soon as possible. If I kill a giant, then maybe. No, he's not gonna let it happen. Expo, you know you want it so bad. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that happen? I can't believe that happened. Holy crap. 